guess another precious person I worked with was probably Tricky. Um, the songs two we did together, one called Enjoy, which is just about celebrating life and uh, having the guts to jump off cliffs and not uh, clinging to your little nest ho your whole life. You have to sort of go for it sometimes. And the other song, the Headphones, which was an idea I had actually a while ago where a friend of mine, actually, Graham Massey, he used to send me tapes in the post, just the, all the songs, his favorite songs, put on one tape. And I think it's one of the most brilliant, precious presents you can get from a friend. And if you may be having a bad day, you keep it in your pocket f for the whole day. And then in the evening, before you go to bed, you take your Walkman and you go to bed after having a bath. And you lie there with the Walkman and you listen to the tape and you uh, fall asleep with the tape, with the headphones on. So it's like almost like, a, like an anthem, like a sort of worship anthem to headphones. And uh, the chorus goes, um, my headphones saved my life, your tape lulled me to sleep. And, and it's, it's, it's very much about that. And we, I decided to use all those things, put a lot of vocals on it, and really try to sort of use the headphone you know, trick, like sort of da, 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 all those tricks and and really sort of glorify headphones. I always take my ghetto plastic with me everywhere I go. And I used to have a, sm <coughs> a smaller one. It was just one tape, uh, but no uh, CD. And I could take it everywhere with me, and, and if you put just the right song on, it can be a lot stronger than even words. Say if two friends are arguing, and you just put exactly the right song on, and they stop arguing. Or be two people that really fancy each other, but they're too shy, you put just uh, the right song on, and they fall in love. So I really, uh, uh, this is my best friend, I think. Come on, girl. been all the different kind of music always from the day when uh, monkeys decided some of the monkeys decided to become men there, there is um, the sort of cheap everyday music the uh, sort of deep intellectual music the, uh, the sort of humorous music the uh, all the different you got all sorts of music and I think all the different type of music are just as important and they are now in, in 1995, this is the same thing. You got the sort of stupid music because it's very important. You know, must never stop being stupid. It's one of the most important human qualities to, to remain stupid. And and also the uh, sort of intellectual music, and also instinctive music, and also um, happy music, and and all the different type of music with all the different type of instrument because you can play music on uh, almost anything. You know. Can 
just re present real life. It don't matter what it is. And 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 I mean situations like um, say uh, like if you put an Indian violin into um, a punk song, it's not so weird because. How many times have I seen a punk eat Indian food? It happened all the time. I think, um, I think what influences me most in writing my songs is emotional things. Because in a way, all the noises of the world, uh, well, all the noises that I have learned, uh, I think you sort of take that in from the age of zero till about 50. Then majority of your influences are already there. And then they're, little, they're, they're just little noises like cars, you know, and not so literally music, but just, you know, cars, machines, you know, like um, ghetto blasters, um, you know, people talking around you, echo in the mountain, all these things. I think most of all you're, you're influenced by things like this up till 15. After that, I think what triggers off songs in you is, is um, emotions. Yeah. 